The Children of Light Conference is a result of Joe Crane first seeing angels in 1995. These conferences are put together at the request of the angelic realm. From that day forward, a large body of teachings and information has continued to unfold that would fill a thousand-page book. It is all centered on humanity and the angelic realm working together to bring forth a new Eden. In the years since, the angels have visited Joe numerous times each year, and they have taught and demonstrated to him the subtleties of different sounds, colors, oils, and personality aspects. Each of these carries its own vibration and particular assets. The goal of the angels was to use these vibrational tools to help us individually, and when gathered in groups, to bring a positive change into our world. It should be pointed out that Joe's angelic visits are quite real and not meditations or dreams. At times during these visits, Joe and the angels can actually touch each other. Joe's dogs clearly see the angels in the room and watch them as they move about. And all of these visits are written up by Joe the next day and archived on the website. The angels have said that they're here to directly help us. They have instructed Joe to bring people together each year as a focused, caring group for a simple but powerful goal, to bring humanity to a more loving and peaceful place, a new Eden. The angel's proposal is simple, to create a strong and loving force with human and divine energies joined and focused to help us individually and to aid mankind. To that end, they have demonstrated to Joe how each of the sacred oils, tones from the tuning forks, semi-precious stones, and our different personality aspects all carry a distinct vibration. When these frequencies are tuned and combined in a group, it creates a powerful and far-reaching effect. Each year at the conference, the angels present us with the geometry of their own design, a diagram that can be arranged on the floor. In this geometry are numerous places for individuals to stand and that they ask that someone is occupying each of these points. All of the subtle vibrations that were previously mentioned are all brought together into the angelic geometry. When all is combined, a unique, unified, and powerful energy is created. The larger the group standing in the geometry, the more powerful the force generated. At this point, the angels take over. As they are allowed to do, they will take this energy, greatly magnify it, and send it out into the world as a wave of positive change. It will be a force to counteract the division, fear, and harm that is in the world today. This new energy will flood the world with a profound love and peace. Unlike most conferences, you'll do more than attend lectures and workshops. There will be direct interaction with the angelic realm. This interaction will allow you a role in bringing forth a balance and loving consciousness to our world. Over a four-day period, informative speakers and ceremonies will teach you the child of light process and empower you to bring an end to suffering in your life and the lives of others. At previous conferences, when the group is standing in the angelic geometry, many people, gifted or not, have seen angels in the room. Others have seen phenomena in the sky matching what the angels had promised. People have reported being touched, hearing things whispered in their ears, and at one conference, virtually everyone in the room saw an identical and circular flash of light in front of their face, regardless of the direction they were facing. The angels are letting us know that they are present for our benefit. How many times have we wished there was something we could do to create a loving change on that scale? We have that opportunity now, and with the efforts of a small group of people like you, and assisted by the angelic realm, we can make change happen. The angels have told Joe that they can intervene for us, but we have to demonstrate some incentive on our part. That is, for a small number of us to make the effort and join together in this once a year and unique ceremony. It is something quite special and powerful. After all, it was created in the angelic realm, and it's offered to us now. At previous conferences, we have not always had the number of people present that the angels requested. 
a positive energy does go out, but it's not in full, and the results are not as strong as they could be globally. Our efforts are not wasted, but the energy falls short of what the angels required from us. Whatever the energy we create that day is increased by the angels, and it does go out into the world to create change, but it's less than the full potential. We can do better. After one of the conferences, the number of people attending fell short of the goal, and Michael asked Joe if we were happy with the present state of the world. Given the opportunity the angels have provided, why haven't we fully responded to their offer of help? I hope you'll join us at this upcoming conference. Come and be yourself with like-minded people and participate in creating change in the world.